Question, are you having trouble setting a static IP address on your Raspberry Pi? It might be because there's a newer way of doing this through the network manager. I can show you how. Let's start a new terminal session or an SSH connection and type in sudo nmtui. You'll land on the network manager screen. We need to select edit a connection. Here you'll see any wired and wireless connections on your Raspberry Pi. Go ahead and select the one that you need a static IP address for. In my case, it's my primary ethernet wired connection. Now we'll go down to the IPv4 connection and then set it to manual. Then move over to the right and then select show. Head downwards towards addresses and then type in the IP that you want based on your network mask. After that, you need to do the same thing for your gateway address and then get that added. Now you can simply go all the way down and then select OK. Your new static IP configuration is now saved. Go all the way downwards on the screen and then select back. And then finally you can quit the network manager. We do need to run the sudo reboot command to get all the changes to kick in. And there you have it. Your Raspberry Pi should now have a persistent static IP address. Just make sure that you can still reach it over SSH. Likewise, if you do have a web server set up on your Raspberry Pi, make sure it's still accessible over the browser. The truth is, I myself was surprised that after I flashed the latest OS image on my Raspberry Pi, I could not find the DHCP CD configuration file. You see, after Raspberry Pi OS 12 and later versions, they've completely removed all traces of the DHCP CD configuration file that's typically found in the ETC folder. Up until now, a lot of people, including myself, have been relying on this file to set static IPs. And what's more aggravating is that the official Raspberry Pi documentation wants you to do this on your router, but not everybody prefers doing it this way. So hopefully this got you unblocked in case you were scratching your head about how to set static IPs on your Raspberry Pi. Thanks for watching. And for more on Raspberry Pi, please consider subscribing to this channel.